and this is drinking with, with Martha. Martha. So drinking with Martha is where me and Kim take classic Martha crafts and get a little drunk. And then we do them for you. So every, great. <laughs> so every week we're gonna bring to you wonderful Martha Stewart craft from her holiday crafts or from her show so we take her craft book and we're gonna show you how to do them but we're also gonna be shit-faced mm -hmm. and use lots of hand gestures so Kim what are we doing today we are glitterizing these things here Martha Stewart holiday craft book mm -hmm. has great ideas and one of the ideas is glitter corn and glitter pumpkins and use them as a centerpiece. So here, we did this before we were drunk. So as you see, you get a glitter pumpkin in a dome, and it's beautiful. And you can use these for Thanksgiving or, or anything. So if you guys want to craft along with us, mm. or if you want to drink along with us, here are some things that you're going to need. Necessities. Necessities. So Sailor Jerry's rum. It's a spice rum, and it is 92 proof. When you're drinking with Martha, you want to get the good shit. Just like Martha Stewart glitter. Exactly. You're not, you're not going to want to spend $2 on your rum. So yeah. you're going to want the good stuff. Yes. And then we also have here some rum chata. This is a cream liquor with cinnamon, and it's cream. And it's good. And you mix those two together. It's the perfect fall drink. For fall crafting. Exactly. So my idea is that if you want to, you can do this the ordinary crafter way. See, we like to take it to the Martha level. A normal crafter would just drink one or mix these with something else. Right. We drink them straight. So we have our fall time rum chata drinks, which is just these two together. Some other things you're going to want for this crafting tutorial are Martha Stewart's Holiday Craft Book which you can purchase at Barnes & Noble or any Barnes other Barnes & Noble. Or Barnes & Noble. So you're going to want Martha Stewart Craft Glitter. A few years ago, Martha Stewart came out with her own craft line, and it is the best. Martha Stewart Glitter is sparkly and beautiful and better than all the rest. Does it you're, hurt your throat when you drink it? Yes, because alcohol hurt. kills the glitter. And you're going to want some Indian corn, and some pumpkins, baby pumpkins, which cost approximately $2 at your local store. Meyer. So you're gonna want those. Meyer. So you're gonna want them. And then you're gonna want some Martha Stewart craft glue or Mod Podge. And Martha Stewart craft glue is pretty good. And a brush. And a brush and paint and paint brushes. You will turn ordinary pumpkins. Ordinary. And ordinary corn extraordinary into extraordinary Martha Stewart centerpieces for your family to enjoy. And let me tell you, that's a good thing. We're gonna get glitter for you. Mm -hmm. So we have our craft glue here. Hold on, let's show the lovely audience. That's craft, craft glue. glue. Martha Stewart's craft glue. It's white. <laughs> Okay, so for the corn, for the Indian corn, you're just going to want to do even strokes all the way up and down. And it's best to hold it by the stock. It'd be tricky if you're holding it by the corn. Yeah, you get glitter. So what are you doing with your pumpkin? I'm getting the... I'm doing a, what I like to call ring around the rosy. Uh, it's where... <laughs> That's a good thing. It's a very good thing. You, I find doing the center part a lot easier because it's just, it's just easier. I did it the other way where I did a top and a bottom or a bottom and a top. And, I mean, you just, it just, you always have that ring that's just not glittered. So I'm going to start with the center ring this time. So what you're going to want to do is when you're doing this two pieces at a time, you want to do one color at a time, because we have a we have we have a plate, and this plate is where we glitter it. And if you do it all in one color, you're going to be able to reuse and reuse. And that's one of Martha's tips. 
keep you reusing your glitter, have it in a thing, and put it in your bowl. This is Martha's glitter too, by the way. And Martha's glitter is the best glitter I have. It literally covers everything beautifully. Even your face. Even your face. This glitter gets everywhere. We just continue to go down. Now, could you imagine if this was your job? Glittering? Like, just glittering every day? <laughs> glitter. I really couldn't. I just imagined my job glittering your face every day. Ooh, I kind of like it. You know, I think that your house is going to look beautiful after her. No matter what you do with glitter, your house is going to look like Lady Gaga came over for, for supper. And then ate maybe a little too much. And then puked. <laughs> so, this, you want to do sprinkles. You don't, you don't want to throw this glitter everywhere. You don't just, just dump it, okay? You don't want think it's even, not attractive. You want... <laughs> Camera magic T by TV magic. We have one already done. So here's the finished product right here. Glittered. You know I'm been I'm drinking so much glitter tonight. We call it getting glittered. Getting glittered. Um, she is so good. At, when we started, we had to start early. Um, and when we started, we didn't know how to use glitter. Glitter is hard, yeah, but you can just keep going. And, and this is an, this is a, this is a craft that you can do with grandmas and kids and dogs and cats. And so pretty. That's so pretty. What I was thinking, and I was telling Kim, three corns on your door. Oh, that's so cute. Hang those on your door. Woo! Glitter. Do collection. In in the Martha Stewart craft book, it says. Don't do a bunch of colors. So we have silver. Sage. Sage green. And beautiful gold. Beautiful gold. Do a collection of colors. Find which ones work for you. And did you notice our bowl is actually sage green? It goes so perfect. It goes perfect. From China. From China. Anyways, guys. Glitter. Craft. Have fun. And remember, it's a good thing.